Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. So we're starting off today's video by shopping for some landscaping and in today's video we will be installing landscaping in front of our house and behind our house just getting started on that. We started off at this really neat little nursery in Tucson and they had some fun stuff for the kids which the boys really enjoyed but we didn't end up buying anything here. We headed over to Lowe's and Home Depot which is where we ended up getting all of our landscaping and everything that we would need. We got these bricks thinking we were going to line the front flower bed with them here at the house, but we actually didn't even end up using them, so poor Jalen had to load and unload these four different times because we ended up just returning them back to Lowe's. We didn't use any of them, but now we are back home and the first thing we're going to do is to plant some Ocotillas. We planted three different ones here in front of the house, two shorter ones and then one tall one over here at the corner. And Arizona is so dry right now, so this dirt was really hard and difficult for Jalen to dig holes in. We should have had a sprinkler or at least the hose just running on this for a while before we got started. He ended up having to get out the pickaxe to dig the hole for the biggest Ocotilla just because the ground was so hard up there. But we will have drip hoses going to these plants. These Ocotillas should fill out really nice and get nice and tall they should be fast growing and they'll get little green leaves on them now that they're getting lots of water and they'll get little blooms at the top while we were getting started in the front flower bed we had a landscaping company installing a concrete curb at our back porch about four feet out from the back porch right at the edge of the yard is where they were installing this and then we were going to do bushes and gravel inside of there Jalen started removing all of these rocks from the corner of the house. We just wanted to do something a little bit cleaner here around the edge of the flower bed. So we were going to put all of those bricks that we had bought from Lowe's, but once we went around back and we saw just how amazing that concrete curb was looking, we thought, you know what? While he's here, let's just have him come around to the front of the house and just go ahead and put one around the front of the house. And we're so glad that we had him do that. As you'll see here in a little bit, it turned out so amazing. And it was just exactly what the front of this house needed. And that landscaping company is actually owned by my husband's friend. He was the one there pouring the concrete curb and they just do such an amazing job. I'll put the name of their landscaping company down below. If you're local to the area, we would highly recommend them. They do amazing work. Jalen had trenched the water line with the trencher to the flower bed the week before, so he just had to go through that with the little shovel and just dig it out a bit and then just run that ditch right into the flower beds so that he could lay those water lines. It gets really hot on this side of the house right here. At the hottest point of the day in the afternoon, the sun's just shining right here, so we wanted to be sure that we had water running to all of these plants, and we also wanted to make sure that whatever we planted here was kind of a desert plant. That's 
why we went with the ocotillas and the cactus and the bougainvilleas. Just trying to go with things that grew well in the desert just because this was such a hot spot right here at the front of the house. I would love for you all to share down in the comments where you're from in the world and what your favorite type of plants are to plant around your house, what grows really well where you live. I wish that I could just plant a ton of flowers but they would take so much TLC out here with us not getting much rain and being as hot as it is. So we just like to keep it minimal to keep it easier on us and also everything needs water lines run to it, which like you can see is a lot of work. wanted to add at least one cactus out front and originally I wanted to do a bunch of really tall cactuses in front of the house but tall cactuses are so expensive to buy so we just bought this little one right here I got him for $24 I think from Lowe's so as you saw Jalen ran that water line underneath the dirt here in the flower bed and then he just punched the little hole and added the smaller hose up to each plant with a little nozzle coming out we did keep it pretty minimal up front here just because like you can see it is a lot of work you have to run water to each plant so we just try to keep it minimal and also all of these plants are going to grow and get big and take up a lot more space out front here the ocotillas especially are fast growing when you put water on them so these are gonna fill out and get huge out front here they'll get green with some flowers at the top and honestly when we bought all of this landscaping we thought wow this is a ton of landscaping we're going to have plenty for out front but once we started setting it all in front of the house it really wasn't that much I was hoping to fill this up a little bit more but once we got all these planted we were glad that we kept it minimal like I said it's just easier upkeep out here in the desert At this point our gravel order was delivered for our landscaping and once this was dumped we thought maybe this might not quite be enough but we actually ended up having a lot extra so it worked out perfect. The next step was to lay down the landscape fabric so that you don't get the weeds growing through your gravel. I think this was called weed barrier or something like that from Lowe's. And then we put the gravel on top of that. I know some people may plant their plants after they lay down the landscape fabric, but we did it before and it worked out just perfect. And it made it so much easier to lay down this gravel using this little tractor. Our very nice neighbor let us borrow the tractor for a few hours, so we were very grateful for that.
Once we had the front completed, we headed around to the back and the first thing Jalen did was to lay the water line for all the bushes and get that ditch dug and everything. And once he got that laid out, then we got started on planting these bushes. I got all of these bushes from Lowe's and after we got them planted, they were looking a little bit sad. And I just think it's because their pots didn't have very good drainage at all. And they ended up setting in these plastic pots for a little over a week after we bought them. So I just needed to get them in the ground and I think they'll start doing a lot better. We did the same thing back here that we did out front, planted the bushes first and then laid down the landscape fabric and then put the gravel on top. And I had a lot of chairs set up on the porch here because we were having a little birthday party for Kyle the next day with all of his cousins and the family. In the previous video, I showed all of the footage of me cleaning the patio furniture and the back porch and we also painted that screened in porch over there to the right. For some reason on camera here, these bushes look like they're not evenly spaced out, but they are evenly spaced out in real life. I think it's also just because they're looking a little sad right now and all kind of flop different directions, but hopefully they pull out of that soon. Okay, so they finished the curb out here all along the edge of the porch. It turned out absolutely amazing. And then we got our bushes and our rock put in here. They finished the curb on this side over here as well, but we just didn't get any of our landscaping done yet because we ran out of bushes. I didn't get quite enough bushes, so we're going to grab some more of those in a couple days, and then we'll just do the exact same thing on this side with the gravel. He's already got the water line run over here. So the color of the gravel is Coronado Brown, and we love how it's kind of the same color as the pavers on the porch, so it helps to break that up and make the pavers match the house a little bit better, we feel like. And then here's the curb that we went with. Like I said, we just went with the concrete color just so that it would blend in with the house and it was just perfect. We could have had them add color to it, but we just kept it the concrete color. This curve that we chose is a little bit lower in the front and then it rounds up higher in the back just so that the grass can grow all the way up to the curb and then Jalen can mow right up to the edge of this curb. We just love it. It was exactly what this back porch needed, helped to clean up the edge of the yard and everything and they just did an amazing job on this concrete curb. Over here on the edges, we just had them do like the flat square look and then we only did the rounded look in the front. So coming down here, he kind of rounded it out around a little bit bigger to come up to the edge of the steps here. And these bushes should grow bigger and just fill in each of these spots a little bit better. And over here, we've got the exact same thing going on. We just need to get those bushes planted and the gravel put down, but Jalen already has like I said, that water line running through here. So yeah, it's all really starting to come together back here. We're loving hanging out back here, running around in the backyard barefoot with the kids, hanging out on the porch. We painted that screen like you saw in the last video. And I set up some furniture over here, started cleaning the porch. We want to build a DIY wooden porch swing to hang down here on the end of the porch. And then over here, we do want to make this a little kitchen dining area, if you will, like an outdoor kitchen area. Here along this wall, Jalen wants to build like a little kitchen area for his Traeger with like a little countertop. 
Maybe we'll do a little fridge under there, some metal back on the wall. We're getting some nice cloud cover and a breeze right now. The weather out here is amazing. We're hoping to get a little bit of rain today, but we still do have to finish up the fascia on the back porch. But yeah, this is a really big back porch to work on and fill up. It's a 1500 square foot back porch. So it's a lot to work with here, but we are loving how it's turning out and it's just a great place to hang out and have parties. In the last video, we painted the screen over here on the screened in porch and I totally forgot to give you an up close shot of what this screen looks like painted. We just sprayed it on and as you can see, we got a nice even coat on here. It turned out amazing. I'm not sure if it was just the type of screen that we were painting or if this would work for all types of screens, but as you can see, it worked great on this screen and it's just all nice and even. A lot of you wanted to see how the inside looked in here and we almost wouldn't have to paint the inside, but we probably will eventually just because there's a couple of little like darker spots on the screen. I had to stop here at the side of the house while we're walking around to the front flower bed and show you my bougainvillea. In a previous video, we built this DIY planter box and little trellis and we planted these bougainvillea vines and they are just doing amazing. They're getting some pretty pink leaves at the top here and hopefully by the end of the summer they'll be up at the top of this trellis. I'm not sure if they'll grow that fast but hopefully. Okay so out front here we were about to install these pavers while they were pouring the concrete curb in the backyard and we went to the backyard. We saw how amazing it was looking and we were like you know what let's just have them come around to the front and pour one over here as well and we ended up going with the square curb out front here instead of doing the one that's higher in the back and lower in the front and it just turned out amazing it's exactly what the front of this house needed as well and i'm so glad that we didn't just stack up these pavers along the house because this looks a hundred times better than that would have. Okay, so I had to pause filming out front yesterday and I'm back here this morning, but the lighting is not quite as good because we've got that morning light where it's half shade, half sun, but hopefully you can still see good. We did keep this bush right here. It's really flourishing and getting so tall. We might have to trim it up here eventually, um, but we just left this right here. This was here when we bought the house and we did the Coronado Brown gravel out front here as well. I did these little plants back here I'll look up the name of them and have them come up on the screen, but I love these and it says they're so hardy. They don't need much water. They're drought hardy, so they're a great plant for Arizona and they've already got some little blooms on them up there as you can see. I pressure washed off one of those white rocks and we added one right here. And then here is my little cactus that I got from Lowe's. And the next plant that we did was a bougainvillea bush right here. And I'm not sure which type this was. And then up here, I did another bougainvillea. I just love these. They're really hardy here in Arizona. So I just did several of them here around the house. This one looks a little bit different. I know there's different kinds, but I don't remember. I'd have to go back and look at the tags to see. And then right here is our little Okatia. He's already getting little green leaves down there and he should start growing really quickly and get a lot greener, some little green leaves on him and bloom at the top and fill out. And these things will get crazy huge. That's why we didn't plant a whole lot around it. Down here, we've got another bougainvillea bush and these will come back every year. I'm probably just going to have to trim them up a bit in the fall time. Over here, we've got another Okatia. Quite a few little blooms at the top, as you can see there, and some green leaves down at the bottom. And right here is my Texas sage. Like you saw, we planted two of these together just so that we could get a really big bunch and huge bush of Texas sage going on right here just to fill up this area under the window. This will get little purple flowers on top of it. And I pressure washed off another one of those white rocks and we stuck it right here in between that Texas sage and then the Okatia down here. This Okatia is our biggest one right here, which we needed something big right here on the end. And this thing will fill out a lot better. Right now it's kind of sticking out in all different directions, but it will fill out a lot more in the middle, get some green leaves and blooms here at the top, which it's already getting. And we still do want to do something with this little area right here. We're going to do a walkway up to the front or something, just try to clean it up a little bit, but this is what we've got done for now and we love how it turned out. Mm -hmm. 